Okay, well, I had no sound that whole time. I'm so sorry. Um, hello, Kanan, how are you? Thank you for telling me that. I appreciate that. James, hello. I'm so glad that you saw that. Good night, Cesar. Jay, we just fixed it. Luis, yes, we should have sound now. Is there sound now? There should be sound. We should have sound. Ha ha. All of my stuff in here. So there should be sound now. All right. So let me know. I was just talking about uh, my new music video for uh, awesome for the song Fire Bitch that I just posted. Let me paste that again. It's on Spotify. Take a listen. Hello, Jay. Hello, Jose from Madrid. Wonderful. Buenas noches, Cesar. Hello. Um, and hello, Chris Campos. Luis, thank you so much. Uh, James, Kanan. I hope everyone is having a wonderful night. Um, take a look at my new song, Fire Bitch, and we're going to have a music video for that out so out very, very soon. Hello, Dale. How are you? I hope everyone's having a wonderful night. Uh, like I said, I got my, my drink. Saturnino, what am I doing? I am here to ask you all the hard-hitting questions. So, we've got 40 people. So, what I want to know is, our hot dog sandwiches. Tell me why and defend your position. I'm having a great night. I just wanted to come and chit chat with you guys. You can see my green screen back here with the microphone. Uh, we were just shooting the new Fire Bitch uh, music video for the song Fire Bitch that you can find on Spotify. Please take a listen. It helps me out. Yes, I only have one glove on because I've been eating sunflower seeds. So Curtis, hello, how are you? Um, so yes, answer the, answer the question please. And let's see what we have. Our hot dog sandwich. No, because it's one bun. I thought about that. However, hoagies are also one bun. Hoagies are one giant, like a Subway sandwich is just cut. I know, right? Um, could it be because the meat is round? But does that matter? Does it, is it because it's a sausage? And why would that matter if your sausage is formed like a wiener or if it's chopped up and, you know, spread out? What was I saying? I was saying that we just finished filming uh, for our new music video, Fire Bitch, and I'd rather not pick food is food. Oh, it's because you can't see it. I'm sorry. I don't want you to feel left out. Um, no, they are hot dogs, not sandwiches, says Phil. Then what about a sausage or a bratwurst between a bun? Is that a sandwich? I believe any between two pieces of bread is a sandwich. Okay, but what if it's one piece? What if it's one piece of bread that's been sliced open? Because really hamburgers and, and hoagies and stuff are all one piece of bread cut and opened and closed. So, well, if Chicago style hot dog has like other things in it, see, that's the problem. Cereal is soup. That's the next question. Unless you're saying, thank you. Thank you so much, Jose. Definitely, everybody listen in on, uh, listen to my new song, Fire Bitch. We also have another song coming out called Fire Goes On, and that one comes out, um, I want to say it comes out next week. A taco is a sandwich, too. No, don't even go there. We are not eating. No. No, 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 no. Are tacos sandwiches? I thought about this. Tacos are on tortillas. Not bread. 
and it's typically corn tortillas. However, now you're getting into tortas because tortas are considered sandwiches, but there's no top bun. So sliced open bread still count. The sandwich needs to have real meat between two slices, hot dogs are, oh, does, does that mean that veggie sandwiches are not sandwiches? Next time Sam touching you with a hot dog, you better get it with your face. Chris, that was not the right thing to say. That just sounded dirty and wrong. Dirty, dirty, dirty and wrong. Hello, Mr. Pajamas. What are you doing up this late? Um, I eat tofu dogs. Hell yeah, I eat tofu dogs. So, the sandwich needs to have real meat between two slices. Hot dogs are 80% leftovers ground up. So... Should they be hot dogs or should they be garbage dogs? If you dig in your trash and shove it between a hot dog bun, does that make it a hot dog? Hey, thanks, I see. How you doing, Krista, my girl? Buns for sub sandwiches aren't always cut all the way through the bread, but are still called sandwiches. So what's it? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. What's the difference between a hot dog bun? Well, Saturnino says, I don't know what's right or wrong. And I think that's the whole point. We don't know what's right or wrong. And it doesn't even matter. The big question is, why do hot dog buns come in packs of, uh, of eight and hot dogs come in packs of ten? Oh, I see in your pretzel dogs. She made the most amazing pretzel dogs the other day. And I didn't get to eat them, but I did get to see them. Anything in a cylindrical form, hot dog sausages or bratwurst are completely different from sandwiches. We, we discussed the flat meat situation. We did. We talked about the flat meat situation. Um, and uh, any sandwich definition, any item of food consisting of two pieces of bread with meat, cheese, or other filling between them, I'd say that makes a hot dog a sandwich. Yeah, Pops, it is madness. It's madness. Uh, maybe next talk about this next, next zoom meeting we're going to do on, um, for my, uh, my Patreon private meeting, we're having a movie night and we're watching zombie strippers. Ha ha. So you can feed your dog a wiener <laughs> or in case you drop it, burn it. Mm. So my sunflower seeds. Now, second question is cereal soup is cereal soup and you could say no because soup is hot however borscht is cold revenge is served cold does that mean revenge is cereal because what about being happy with what you have so no matter how big things you can always have a hot dog but you shouldn't have a hot dog my life is so terrible right now. Let's inject me with poison. Hot dirgers. <laughs> so you have to reach the common denominator and spend more. Exactly. Curtis has the correct answer. Congratulations, Curtis. There is cold soup. That was the big question. There, there, There is cold soup. So is cereal soup or 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 is soup cereal that's a question isn't it is soup cereal saturnino we don't have to watch public domain when it's a private showing um if it's on twitch it's public so that's why twitch has to be public domain but when we do it privately we do not so that's the question. No answers? Come on. Where's my where's my people here? Is cereal soup? Is soup cereal? Stew is stew soup. Is stew cereal? Is cereal that's been left out and gotten congealed now stew? Hi, Sean. How are you? So these are the big questions for tonight. So what do you think? Do, 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 do. No one? No answers. Hmm. I don't know, but I eat soup any time of day. 
So you have breakfast soup, lunch soup, and dinner soup. Actually, that would be pretty good. If you had breakfast soup, so you had cereal, and then stew for lunch, because that's when you need like the majority of your nutrition, and then a soup dinner. Cereal is definitely soup. Saturnino hasn't had cereal in some time. Soggy cereal should be considered stew because it's all thick. Now, that being said, are runny mashed potatoes soup? Mediterranean food, what about it? Dayer's Mediterranean soup. I tell you the rocks. Uh, okay. Pop tarts are ravioli. No, they're not, and I'll tell you why. Because you don't boil them. Now, if you boil your pop tarts, now they're ravioli. Damn it! And I just got myself too because there's fried ravioli. Hmm. We're gonna have to work on that one. Soup has some sort of broth. Cereal has milk. Ah. Ah, uh, but cream of soups have milk. So now what, Phil? Cream of soups are made with a milk base, as are mashed potatoes. So runny mashed potatoes, are they soup? Your stomach thinks all potatoes are mashed, right? Have I ever had baked ravioli? I know, that's what I was saying. I was like, but cookies aren't soup or sandwiches unless you're having cookie sandwiches. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, now wait. Let's go back to the sandwiches. If we've determined that sandwiches have to be something between two pieces of bread, then what about ice cream sandwiches that are between two cookies? So there you go. If you have cereal left out in milk for over two hours, it's cat food. <laughs> Doing government still? No, I moved. So I'm still keeping an eye on things and uh, kind of paying attention to what's going on. If they're served in a bowl. Salad served in a bowl. If is salad, if you have dressing on it, is it considered soup now? Okay, Josh has a question for us. And how is a moon pie a pie? It's not even made out of the moon. But they still have broth of some sort. Right, which could be milk. Because I've made milky soups with no broth that it's just been a milk base. Okay, so Josh has a question for me. Like, how many of these can I put in my mouth at once? Mm. Honey pie is a thing. I gotta smoke more weed for this. <laughs> Oreo say cookie sandwiches on the bag. Josh, what's your question? <laughs> Josh's like, I have a question. <laughs> well, what's your question, man? Cookie sandwiches. Hmm. So, we've determined that, su that sandwiches are anything between two things. Now, maybe because a sandwich is two things with something inside of it, and hot dogs are more like this, with a thing in between it, then that just proves that hot dogs are not sandwiches, they're tacos. Boom. That's what I'm saying. The ice cream sandwich between two cookies, not bread. 
Is shaky pudding really pudding? I don't even know what shaky pudding is. That just sounds dirty. What are my thoughts on Halloween this year? Um, I think in my neighborhood, people are going to do it anyway. There was just a basketball game at the park down the street. It was very disappointing. Fruit pies. That is still crust. Now I want a fruit pie. Damn. Um, so Halloween, I think, in my neighborhood will still happen. Um, I think in some areas they'll ban it, and I don't know if they'll do that here. I don't think that they will ban it here. French tortilla or Spanish tortilla with jamón serrano or jamón pasta negra. It's fantastic. Awesome. I've never... Spanish tortilla with... Oh, serrano and ham. Okay, no, that makes sense. Favorite haunt? What's my go-to for all-time best holiday? I suggest going to Fear Farm. Any place where they chase you with chainsaws is very cool. Tacos are not sandwiches because they're made with tortillas. And that's what I'm saying. So I think that a sandwich is like this, and this is like something between a wedge, which would make it not a sandwich. Oh, Chris. Um, okay, yeah, no, I, I forgot all about that, and I, um, I wouldn't even know on that myself. All you need for the bread or tortilla to break on the seam to become a sandwich. Yes, exactly. That's true. Once you break the seam. It's now a sandwich. <sighs> My mind is way in the gutter right now. Okay? Like, mind blown gutter. Hardcore. You know, so, like, once you make a wish, it's now a sandwich <laughs> instead of a taco. <laughs> So gyros is not a sandwich. No. Gyros are not sandwiches, they're tacos. We, we, we just decided. That's right. Hi Scooter, how you doing? Shaky pudding is dried pig blood baked in bread. But why is it pudding? So that's another thing. The Brits, they call pudding like any soggy gooey crap. So does that mean that slime is pudding? What about an Indian taco? What about it? It's flat. And they don't want to be called Indians. So I don't think that they want them to be called tacos either. I don't know. Chimichangas are chimichangas. But... Chimichangas, according to some of these other definitions, could now be considered pie. So we've determined from the moon pie and the uh, the other pies from the you know from, from the like individual pies that anything fried or cooked in a uh, in like a like a crust is a pie. So chimichangas, pie. Slime is pudding. Chimichangas are pie. And gyros are now not sandwiches. Gyros are tacos. Cereal, if left out and congeals, is stew. Hey, Rico Suave, how you doing? How's it going? Missing you, buddy. Some people are Germans here. What does that have to do with anything? Hi, Brad. We're just over here discussing a few things. Um, for those of you that have not 
seen yet. Take a look at my new song on Spotify. Alfred Trujillo wrote it and did the music and he's just brilliant and so definitely take a look. Um, like I said, we're just discussing the hard hitting questions. Our hot dog sandwiches, we've determined that hot dogs are not sandwiches, they are tacos. Um, reference of Deadpool when you bring up, always reference of Deadpool when you bring up chimichangas. You know, he eats other things. He's not like Baby Yoda and the Chicky Nuggies that chicken he never eats. You ever know, hey, Baby Yoda, Chicky Nuggy. He's never eaten a Chicky Nuggy, ever. He eats like food and frogs and broth and stuff, but he has never eaten a Chicky Nuggy. He's never, take me to the drive room, like ever. Is corn a grain? Or is it a vegetable? So, that is a question. And grain, what is the definition of grain? Okay. Uh, what is a grain? Wheat or other cultivated cereal crop used is food. So it is a grain. So corn is a grain. Now taco in Cherokee is any open-faced sandwich. Corn is a vegetable. Hi, Charlie. It is a starch, but is it a grain? So according to the dictionary, corn is a grain. And grain is anything used to make cereal any cultivated cereal crop used as food um so seven grains wheat rye triticle oats oat bran barley brown rice and flax seed um, no, what are the names of grains? Barley, corn, oats, quinoa, rice, rye, and wheat. Hmm. Corn is in stew. It can be in stew. So, is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Tomatoes are fruit? doesn't have teeth yet. So buttered popcorn is cereal. But it doesn't have milk. And then also with like almond milk and rice milk and stuff, does cereal have to have milk? And if you put almond milk in your cereal, does that not make it soup? So, hi Josh, good to have you back. Brett, how you doing? So buttered popcorn is cereal. Are we going to say buttered popcorn is cereal? Let's find out. Uh, join me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash azpowergirl on Friday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for movie night. Bring your popcorn. We watch uh, old movies and riff on them. And beer. Bring the beer. Somebody bring me the beer. So, okay, I think we're going to end this, but I wanted to come and uh, ask some of these questions. My dogs are all like, I don't know, time to go to bed. Scooter, why would you put juice in cereal when you can put beer in cereal? It makes it burial. Yay. Burial. Don't do that. That just makes it soup. But if you eat cereal without milk in it, does that make it popcorn? No, because popcorn has to be popcorn. Oh, Curtis, 
Uh, that's weird. Um, um, message me. I thought that that went out. I thought that that already went out. Message me with your email address again. Is runny oatmeal soup? Yes. Zoom meeting on Thursday or Friday. Um, it was actually looking at either Wednesday or Thursday. Corn does taste like candy. It is your standard corn D. So, okay. With that being said, follow me on Twitch. And peace out, everybody.